Okay, now here in example four, you're going to learn that equations sometimes can have more than one solution. Equations can have more than one solution. Now, when you solve an equation and one side is equal to the other side, that's called a identity. That is called a identity. So notice here in example four, solve the equation if possible. Solve the equation if possible. So a, we have 3x is equal to 3 times x plus 4. 3x is equal to 3 times x plus 4. Solution. a, 3x is equal to 3 times x plus 4. We wrote the original equation. Now I wrote it up here so you can see it in more detail. Next, you're going to apply the distributive property. All right, when applying the distributive property, we come out with 3 times x, that's equal to 3x. 3 times 4, that's 12. So now we have 3x is equal to 3x plus 12. The equation 3x is equal to 3x plus 12 is not true because the number 3x cannot be equal to 12 more than itself. So the equation has no solution. This can be demonstrated by continuing to solve the equation. Okay, let's do that right here. Now, right now we have an equation with variables on both sides. That means we have to get the variables to one side. Now, since the variable is the same, 3x and 3x, it does not matter which one we move. So, a positive 3x, to move it, I'm going to add to it a negative 3x. A negative 3x on this side and a negative 3x on that side. Notice what happens. 3x minus 3x is 0. 3x minus 3x is 0. And I bring my 12 down. So now I have 0 is equal to 0 plus 12. Well, what's 0 plus 12? That's 12. 0 is equal to 12. That is not true. That will never ever be true. And since that is not true, we say that we have no solution. Once again, 0 cannot equal 12. So our answer is going to be no solution. Now let's take a look at b. b we have 2x plus 10 is equal to 2 times x plus 5. All right, we're going to apply our distributive property again. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 5 is 10. Now let's read what we have. We have that 2x plus 10 is equal to 2x plus 10. That is true. That will always be true. This is called an identity. And no matter how far we go in the problem, we come up with the same answer every time. So let's continue solving. All right, once again, we have an equation with variables on both sides. We must get our variables on the same side. The variables are the same. So it doesn't matter which one we move. A positive 2x, to get rid of it, I'm going to put down a negative 2x. A negative 2x on this side and a negative 2x on that side. 2x minus 2x, that's 0. Bring down the positive 10. 2x minus 2x, that's 0. Bring down the positive 10. Now I have 0 plus 10 is equal to 0 plus 10. Still, that's an identity. This is equal to that. And let's take it one more step. 0 plus 10 is 10. 0 plus 10 and 10 is 10. And 10 does equal 10. This is called an identity. This is called an identity. One side is equal to the other side. 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 This is called an identity. So this concludes today's lesson.